people, 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 people. Can't pass a supper, say what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news is an update about an incident that occurred on the Bustamante Highway that is in Clarendon. Based on information, it is said that an ambulance that is assigned to Lionel Town Hospital, it was transporting a patient, a nurse, and a porter, and of course a driver, four persons. When the ambulance slammed into a truck that was parked on the highway. Now people, first thing first, when it comes to ambulance in Jamaica, it is a very rare occurrence. It is a very rare sight. It is like seeing Bigfoot. And what is even rarer is seeing an ambulance actually in a some sort of accident, in a some sort of incident. So therefore, people have asked the question, was this driver driving recklessly? Was this person in this truck parked illegally? Because the truth and the fact is that we've always seen all sorts of trucks parked and in all sorts of inappropriate position upon the road, upon the highway, upon some little country road rate. It does not matter. It seems as if persons don't have any sorts of conscience, meaning these drivers of these trucks, these big rigs. So anyways, people, based on information, it is said that the ambulance was transporting a patient to the Mandeville Hospital. However, people, based on the fact that the driver slammed into this parked truck, the driver and also the patient, they were rushed to the Maypin Hospital. The porter and also the nurse, they were taken to the Mandeville Hospital, which was the original destination. Based on information, it is said that all four persons, they are in good to stable condition and people, when we saw this accident, we saw that the ambulance was crumpled up and we also saw that the driver almost lost him head because the top of the ambulance was almost resting on the head of the driver. So people, we could call it a very close DEAT situation for all involved. However, people, luckily, the mercy of God or whatever it is, these persons' life were spared. However, people, when we think about the fact that there's always some problem in a Jamaica with people. They don't respect anything. They don't respect ambulance because people I have seen on several occasions or on most occasions, whenever the ambulance put on the siren, it is as if persons are deaf. It is as if they don't even exist. People do the same thing. They don't get out of the way. So people, when I compare what happens in first world countries to what happens in Jamaica, we say that there is no sort of respect for um emergency vehicle and as a matter of fact because of the fact that Jamaican people they are not used to emergency vehicles so therefore it seems as if whenever they see one they are shocked they are dazed they are confused they don't know exactly what to do however people the right thing to do is get the H-E-L-L -L out the way however people we cannot blame the motorists on the road in this incident because we see sir, this driver for whatever reason he slammed into the vehicle we are speaking about a park truck so people at the end of the day, the moral of the story is this. Everybody is okay. Everybody is doing well. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Also, please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now, people, we see that in Kingston, there was a big problem with the gully fishes that live in the gully in a new Kingston. We saw that when night comes out, they were out like some F-R-E-A-K-S in the middle of the night. They were robbing people. They were juking up people. They were creating all manner of evil. However, people, it seems as if they have moved. However, I am speaking specifically about a video that I got the other day. And in this video, it seems as if one of the gully fishes, they basically swam out the tank and saw some sort of white lady, some sort of tourist. And decided that he was going to take her phone, her possessions, her bag, rate, lay, lay, blue, blah, blah. However, it seems as if this lady was putting up some sort of resistance. So therefore, the gully fish kicked down the lady, pushed down the lady, and I dragged the lady all over the place. I scratch up her foot, rate, lay, lay, blue, blah, blah. However, people, it seems as if some people spot the rake, and when them spot the rake, 
them run out upon him with some sorts of farm utensils. People, you know exactly what I am speaking about. However, he tried to take away himself. However, he was not swift enough. And them catch him and people. Then start to stamp him. Then start to lick him. Then start to do all manner of evil to him. However, people, he was a very fortunate fish. So people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to the audio version of this video because people understand that this is YouTube. So therefore, they're trying to keep it PG-13 or Disney World-ish. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. And I go to them come from. So where you are, Rob? Why you not go look something do? Search him. Yeah, look on your eyes. Look on your eyes. I look at your eyes. Do not go look where the country is farming, man. I don't know make people afraid to come to Jamaica. I don't know make people afraid to come and do dirty behavior. Make sure you come in the front with the officer. Go on with him, officer. Now, people, based on the information, it seems as if this suspect is coming straight out of the fish gully. I did not know that the fish gully still existed. I thought that that was in the past. However, people, based on the information, we see that that is not so. One thing that I also realize is that whenever you call the poor poor and you really need them, they never show up. However, when they are not supposed to show up, them always pop up just like that poof in the middle of everything i am speaking about the j-u-n-g-l-e justice just as it the court is about to start the pop of them pull up and basically fling a monkey wrench in the whole thing because the truth and the fact is that some of these people they do not deserve a next chance in a life and you know exactly what i mean and in this case this man was supposed to be a recipient of that type of justice however people luckily for him he was saved by the popo saved by the bell now people one thing that we know about jamaica and any other place in the world do not mess with the tourists and people i am not saying that double h-i-t-e people life matter or the greenback money or the pound matter more than jamaican however people when a country such as Jamaica is heavily dependent on tourism, meaning the number one source of income for that country, you do not want to mess with the cash cow. You do not want to play with the money, point blank and period. So we see that people are going to take it personal. And then again, Jamaican people, them, them frightened the foreigners. So people, I don't know which one it is. However, 
the fact is still the same. So people, based on what this youth is saying, he might do him work. So people, what type of work is he doing? Is it considered when you're robbing people legal, legitimate work? Or is it some sort of crime? People, what was he talking about? Was he dazed and confused from all of the box them, all of the kick them, all of the stamp him head upon the cold concrete that he was getting? People, me no know. However, whatever the case is with sister, he was talking. Chupidness. Now, people, when we talk about the tourists, it seems as if she was also frightened. However, she tried to maintain her cool. She claimed that this is why she loves Jamaica, because of stuff like this and people like this. And people I don't know if she's talking about the suspect or she's talking about the people them a rescuer. However, people, we know so white people them kind of bummy. They are easily frightened. However, they always end up in a Jamaica, always end up in a some sort of garrison, always end up with some sort of dancer. So obviously, they are not as frightened or afraid as we think. So anyways, people, at the end of the day, the lady get back her phone even though it was cracked. She got back her position and we say so most importantly, one fish he was taken to the aquarium with the bars where he truly belongs. And hopefully he will get whatever he deserves, meaning that some sort of time, some sort of sentence, or even better, them catch him on the flip side and basically flip him over like a flounder. Point black, well, that sounds kind of H-O-M-O. -O. However, you get the point. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that a lot of these bikers in Jamaica, riders of the Yang Yang bikes, they've been using these bikes and they're not using them as courier services. They're not using them as transporting food, rete, lele. No people, they are taking advantage of the innocent people, victims out there. Them are rob people that come from bank. Them are rob all people of them purse, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. They've been using them to commit all sorts of atrocities against people of Jamaica. However, people, there's a video that is circulating and people, I don't think that this video is in Jamaica. So therefore, don't leave in your comment section. This is not Jamaica. I just told you it's not. However, people, in this video, the message is still the same. In this video, there's a man, it seems as if he is on his bike, he is going about his merry business. When he was approached by two set of men on two Yang Yang bike, however, it seems as if they had idea of robbing this person. However, what the person did is, he pulled over, him jump off his bike and take for himself, and rewind, whap it and come back, wheel and pop off and basically blaze up the two set of men that were on the bike. However, people, you know that this is YouTube, so therefore, YouTube, PG-13, Disney Channel. So therefore, I cannot show you details of this uh, payback. However, people, like me say, first thing first, whenever you live in a country we're in, we see that we have a problem. We would depend on the relevant authority, meaning the JCF, to basically clamp down on this. However, it seems as if the JCF, they are mm, oblivious to what is going on. They don't take things, matters into hand. They don't make sure that they put out any sorts of task force and make sure that this problem is resolved. So therefore, the citizens of countries like Jamaica, they have to take matter into their own hand. They have to be their own heroes. They have to stand up, wheel and pop off and take out some of these criminals and people. In this case, we see this man decided that Listen, I am going to trick them. I am going to give them the bait. And whenever they took the bait, I am going to give them some hot lead. Something of them body that is bad for their health. And people, that is exactly what happened. And people, that is my recommendation for persons of legal fire peace in a Jamaica. Make them feel as if they get something. Give them the wallet, give them the chain, give them the watch. And then give them exactly what they deserve. People, you do the match, you know exactly what I am speaking about. So people, in this case, we see say, the driver or the rider of this motorbike, he gave them a surprise, the surprise of their life, and basically end up ending their life, sending them to the afterlife, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.